So I have some games in this package that I'm going to be unboxing in this video. Uh, they came from my trade-in service, so basically somebody filled out my form on my website, jarobgaming.com. They went to the trade-in tab, and they basically told me what they had to sell, and I gave them a price. Now, I believe we have some PS2, some 360, and some GameCube games in here, and I'm pretty excited to see exactly what we got. I think we have some loose games and some complete games, and man, it's always fun just unboxing these various different uh, you know, consoles and games that people send me. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. So it looks like it's packaged pretty well. We've got some green bubble wrap on top. Go ahead and take that out. And here we got a fat stack of games, it looks like. Man, so far, all the people that have traded in have done a very good, good job of packaging up their stuff, which is good to see. All right, so we got our loose games on top, I believe. We've got Gran Turismo 3 for the PS2. <laughs> this uh, little case is kind of in shambles, but the disc actually looks pretty good. It's got some smudges and a few scratches, but we can clean that up pretty easily. We got a GameCube game, Sonic Heroes, and that one doesn't look too bad. It's got some scratches, but not, not terrible. Uh, it's pretty hard to, I mean, I'd say more often than not, you come across PS2, 360, and uh, GameCube games that are, you know, scratched up rather than not scratched up. This one has one nasty scratch across it. Hopefully that works. We got GTA 3. And down here we got some more PS2 games. We got Soul Calibur 2 complete, and this game actually feels, the case feels really nice. You got the disc, you got the manual. I bet this disc looks good. It's uh, solid. Let me see if I can get it at a good angle. It's got some scratches, but nothing crazy. And next up, we got another PS2 game. We've got Dynasty Warriors 3. This case looks nice, feels nice. Got the manual and the game. And there we go. And this is this is interesting. I don't remember ever seeing a PS2 game that had a white label. Let me know down below if you know anything about that. But I'm pretty sure that's the first PS2 game I've ever seen that had a white label. And I've unboxed a lot of PS2 games in my day, but maybe I just missed a few. So we have Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects, PS2, complete. Disc looks really good there. Don't see hardly any scratches at all. And just by the way, all the stuff I'm unboxing here will be for sale on my website eventually. I'm in the process of a site revamp, so I'm kind of slow on getting inventory up. But eventually I'm going to do a huge drop of probably a few hundred games and a bunch of consoles. All right, so that one looks good as well. The Getaway. You gotta love when you get a case that feels nice. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's some cases that you'll you'll buy it and you'll get it and it's all scratched up and dirty and stuff. These these feel pretty nice, which is always good to see. Now this one, okay. I thought I thought the case was broken for a second, but it's not. All right, GTA Vice City. This one looks really good as well. Still got a few more down here. We got Resident Evil. Uh, this case has a little bit of, bit of tape there, but again, other than that, it's really good. We got our manual, got our disc, and the disc looks good as well. We got another GTA game down here. We got GTA San Andreas for the PS2. Manual, disc. Man, I love these complete games. Complete games with good cases and good discs are always good to see. This case is actually kind of broken down there. Not a huge deal. A GameCube game, Need for Speed Most Wanted. This one is kind of shredded a little bit. North Shore Library. That's interesting. No wonder it's shredded. So it's not even in a GameCube case. Just in a random case, but the disc actually looks pretty good. There's a couple of little scratches there, but overall not terrible. Um, manual looks pretty good. It's always interesting to see where these things came from. So this came from, yeah, this was literally in a library and somebody checked it out. So 2015, 2014, I don't see where this is from. Seven days, seven days only, no grace period, $1 per day over two feet. <laughs> that brings you back to the library days. I guess libraries are still a thing, but I haven't been to the library in ages. I didn't know there were any libraries that actually had video games, but yeah, it's kind of torn up down there and at the bottom, but all right, not too big a deal. And then we got, I think a few 360 games. So here's a classic. We got one in a GameStop case, and of course it's broken at the bottom. That's like classic GameStop. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. This one, oh, that one is very scratched up. Hopefully it works. And then, yeah, that case, I might have to change cases on that one. We got another game down here. We got Need for Speed Pro Street. This one's pretty nice as well. That one is, ooh, that one is real scratched up as well. I actually bought a disc resurfacer, like a professional one. So I'm gonna have to use that on a few of these discs. Um, see if I can get this cleaned up. And I think that's it. So yeah, some pretty good games in this lot. Uh, most of them were complete and in pretty good condition. You know, there were a few that were very scratched up, but uh, they supposedly work. So we'll try it out and make sure they work. But this one's also ripped a little bit up there. But um. 
yeah, always good to see this stuff. If you guys want to trade anything in, go to my website, jrobgaming.com. Go to the trade in tab, fill out the form, and I'll get you a price. And I'm buying tons of stuff. As you can see, I'm doing daily videos right now, so I got a ton of stuff coming in. So, uh, yeah, definitely let me know. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.